really important that we begin to change the mindset of young people to know that your vote counts. They don't understand that the legislative arm of government is actually a co-equal arm of government. We have an uh, incredible amount of potential. Whatever it is I was doing because of my personal DNA, it had to be of an international standard. Which is what, seriously speaking, is all about. Hi there, this is Seriously Speaking. If you missed last week, I will let you see where we started the discussion we're gonna end today. It's all about, you can either call it here we go or here we come, but it's all about hair, natural hair that grows straight out of your roots. That's one thing I learned last week. But this week, I'm going to be teaching you with my ladies out here with me how to care or pick the right care for your hair. On the show today, we're engaging your by defining what natural hair really means. Let me start with Omozo. What's natural hair? Um, for us at O Naturals, we, we say that natural hair is the hair that has not been chemically altered. Your texture hasn't been chemically altered. So we see it as natural hair. The texture, color, we do some permanent coloring. Well, in do, the, do you have color in your hair? Yes, you? I is do. Is this all your hair? Yes, it oh, is. Oh, wow, I'm jealous. No attachment, don't be. <laughs> <laughs> no extensions or no attachment. So we do permanent colors. Mm -hmm. um, however, when, we, when textures are altered permanently by chemicals, then we say it's not natural anymore. So any hair that's not chemically altered, where the texture isn't chemically altered, is what we look at as natural hair. So tell me, is it, is it strange to have uh, women have the kind of relationship that they have with their hair? Who's going to go first on that? The relationship, I mean, it's like, I don't know, there's this kind of relationship that women have with their hair. How would you describe it, Ashley? It, certain women, but I think certain hair... Women? Certain women? Not all Do you women. Do say, when they describe their husband, low, uh, low or hair, it's like they, they, they own your head. The head is very special. It's, it's become women that are very into their looks. I mean, the hair is like their crown and glory, you know? If your hair... It just makes you feel good. I mean, that's why it's a multi-billion dollar industry, the hair industry. People mm -hmm. love their hair. They like to change their hair. They feel like the hair shapes their look for the day. They feel like it maybe attracts men. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm, so it's Yes, and we're going to say something. World. World. I mean, on this panel, we can interject too <laughs> and disagree or agree. Go ahead, young man. And um, in the past, uh, by past, I mean like way back, a lot of the status was attached to how the women did their hair. Mm -hmm. So you would see pictures of um, ladies like with elaborate hair. hairstyles, yeah. with jewels in them, with beads, mm -hmm. you know, um, or, or kinds of locks, mm -hmm. um, braids, all kinds of elaborate um, arts going on with the hair at that, you know, in those pictures. And people could tell who was who, mm -hmm. what status they held in society because of the style. And mm -hmm. then during slavery, we see that a lot of the slave owners would cut the women's hair in order to almost... Make them less attractive. Yeah, so, <laughs> you know, kind of bring down their morals. Let's do it this way. I think all of us should run away one minute of each. What are the salient points that you've learned that you think people must learn? I mean, one of them is to go to uh, Old Naturals or go to Apples and Oranges, but a lot of there people is. are doing it. Or <laughs> check out the blogs, but, or go to Tresses. However, what are the most knows? Because I must round up. What are the most knows? Always before you comb, always moisturize. Your hair needs slip. So use water and oil mixture to dampen the hair first, and so then use a leave-in condition. You, know, you need a leave-in conditioner to give you slip. Oh, to give it's slip. evaporates. Yes. That's a lesson. So yes. I've Just learned one. Re it again. Exactly. Yeah. So that's why you always have the spray bottle around you. And to put, always, put you know, water you and some moisture. you can put an oil to layer it from evaporating. Inside the oil, water? No, layer. no, no, no. Layer, so after, after, the water, after you dampen, after you, you spray the water, oil. you Moisturize. put oil, mm -hmm. and then you put your leave-in. <laughs> <laughs> you won't mind so. if I put some on your head, though. <laughs> no, it would just, it would just because my hair is in a stretch style now, so it would just you shrink. You complain about hair freezing up, naturally. No, no, don't be worried. <laughs> no, 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 I mean, I'm shrinking. <laughs> shrinking. Hair shrinking. There's somebody shrinking, complaining about yes. shrinking. What, what? If your hair shrinks, your hair is healthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah because it's a, because yes, so natural nice. hair. Because I it's have not only natural hair, relaxed hair shrinks too. <laughs> I like it. Like it. I mean, it or not? Relaxed hair shrinks. But the, but the shrinkage you find in relaxed well, of course, hair is not of as, course, intense, as intense as intense as, we as natural hair. But it does shrink. But you okay, let's let's get their own one minute. One minute. Um, definitely, like Barbara said, moisturize. What's this one doing here? This is a satin pillowcase. 
oh. that you can put over your pillow instead of using your cotton pillowcase to sleep mm -hmm. on it so that your hair doesn't dry out too much. And this is? Ball bristle brush, which you can use to brush the edges for those who are intending on having slicked edges. And this is? Then this is a twist and curl pudding, which you can use to um, lock in is moisture as well. Is it you have there? Yes, or you can use it to twist your hair. Okay, and what is this? Coconut oil. It's, it's easy very to find hot in the now, market. You know? Yeah. But the uh, fake uh, ones. Now. Yes, Does they it are really fake grow your ones. Hair? Should know. Does it grow your <laughs> hair? Um, it, 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 it's, it's the most penetrative um, hair oil. So it absorbs, so it absorbs the all the absorbs. way to the third layer yeah. of, your, of your strands. Okay. So, so, so it, 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 it contains it lyric acid. So your one minute is take care of hair. Uh -huh. So my one minute is moisture, moisture, moisture. It cannot be overemphasized. Moisturize. Don't be afraid of water. What's your one minute? My one minute is to seek out professional help. <laughs> Come to a spa like Apples and Oranges or Au Natural and let them know what, you, what do you want from your hair and then let the professionals help you to get the results that you want. If it's just healthy hair, let the professional tell you, give you a regimen for healthy hair. Oh, that's okay. Seek professional yeah. help. <laughs> yeah. No, she went to study psychology. What is it called? And follow that? Yeah. My, 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 my one yes. minute would be not to underestimate um, the importance of nutrition, of your stress levels, of you know your hormone levels. Sometimes it might seem like you know you're trying all the cosmetic so methods, my own is hormone. and it's you not know, growing. Don't underestimate the importance right. of like a, a trichologist, not a dermatologist, <laughs> which, where, which most people go to when they have hair issues. Go to a trichologist who's, you know... Um, um, what does um, trichologist do, by the way? A trichologist is a hair and scalp specialist. So, you know, we examine... So when your, I come to you now, you put my hair under a machine? Um, a, a microscope <laughs> and maybe a hair check device and a magnifying lamp and if you just to see what's going on. And then, you know, we can start from there to, you know... Uh, I but I think all of you are on. saying basically the same thing. Mm -hmm. I believe that, and which was the aim of this show, to make people understand that if you, whatever hair you want, you can get it, yeah. right? Yeah. And whatever hair you want, you're free to have it. I have a wig on, my natural hair, which I'm hoping that I'm going to grow. In fact, I'm going to start a hair challenge. I'm going to grow my hair to this length, natural. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because again, with your natural hair, you can blow it, you can straighten mm -hmm. it, yes. Yes, you can you do can. whatever yeah. with it. I've yes. shown that that's possible. So I thank you all ladies for coming. Thank all you. natural, so apples and oranges, so tresses, tresses. tresses. <laughs> and then of course, um, Barbara. Barbara. And thank you for watching. It's been one of those, it was fun, but however, it was to teach you really that you can have whatever hair that you want. We'll see you again next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>